Hello, my name is Jeff Bramwell, and I wanted to do a quick video showing how to install the on-premises cloud load test agent for Visual Studio Team Services. I've done several talks uh, recently on the performance testing capabilities of VSTS, and one thing I usually gloss over is the installation of the load test agent, usually due to time constraints uh, of the talks themselves. So I thought I'd show how that's done here quickly in the video. As you can see in the steps here on the screen, uh, it doesn't take a whole lot to get this downloaded and installed. So let's uh, walk through this and see what it looks like. So step one is we have to download the PowerShell script and we can do that this URL that's shown on the screen. When we navigate to that, it goes out to a post in the Microsoft DevOps blog. And amongst other things, it talks about how to use you know load test agents on your own machines. But if you scroll down a little ways, you'll see this link, download, Power download PowerShell script to configure user load test agent. So download that, which I've already done. And then the next step is, is we have to create a personal access token within VSTS. So we'll go back over here. So bounce out to your favorite VSTS account. Um, I'm using one called moonspace.visualstudio.com. Click on your uh, profile picture in the upper right hand side, then click on security. Within here, you can click on the add link under personal access tokens. Then give it a description, whatever you want to call it. Set the expiration for 90 days, 180 days, one year, whatever works for you. And then select which account you want this to work with. It'll default to the one you're in, but you can also say all accessible accounts. I leave these scopes to all scopes for this purpose. And then click on create token. I've already created my token, so I'm not going to do that again. Okay, so step one and two is complete. Now we need to install the agent by running the following command. So we have the PowerShell script we downloaded, a few switches like Team Services account name. So put in the account name you're using. I'm, again, I'm using Moonspace. Put in the PAT that you just created and then give it an agent group name. So if I switch over to a PowerShell window, I've already got that script pasted in. So you can see I'm using Moonspace here. There's my PAT and then I've got an agent group name of load test one. I'll go ahead and enter. This process doesn't take very long, assuming you have a decent internet connection. And you see there it's stopping the service. I had the service previously installed, so it stopped it. And now it's re-downloading the service files. And then it'll extract those, reinstall, and configure them. And just about done. Okay. There. Now our load test agent has been successfully installed and configured and started up. So we're getting closer. So we've gone through steps one through three. Now we want to verify that the agent installed successfully. You can run another command with that same PowerShell script. Looks very similar to the one we used to install it, except now we're saying get agent groups. So if I go back over here, paste in that command, hit enter. It queried VSTS and it came back with load test one, which is the agent group I just created. So we can see that everything installed just fine. And then lastly, let's create and run a load test with a new agent just to see what that looks like. So I've already got the load test page up here in VSTS. So I'm going to create a new URL base test. And I'll just do something simple like Bean.com. There we go. Just to, some, just to get something in here, and we'll call this test. Click on settings. Say a minute. What I really want to see now is if I click on use self provisioned agents, we'll see that load test one agent, the one we just created, came up. I can enter one as the number of agents used. Click save. I can run the test if I want to, but at this point, we know that the load test agent is up and running. Uh, we'll let it go ahead and queue, and here in just a moment, we'll see what that looks like. I want to go ahead and bring up my task manager, and if we watch in here, I want to sort by name, because here in a moment we'll see a task that starts with QT spin up. There we go, running the test. Where are you? I guess I need to scroll way down. QT agent. So that's the test agent right there running on my machine right now. You can see the test is running behind the scenes, or excuse me, behind the dialog. 
and that's all there is to it. So in a matter of a couple minutes we have the load test agent downloaded, configured, installed, and running. So if you have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can see uh, find me on Twitter at jbramwell, or you can find me at my blog at blog.devmatter.com. Thanks. Bye.